Yeah, hello and welcome to Fire Emblem Three Houses Potluck, where we're currently heading into the main chapter mission of chapter 7, which is um, the battle of the eagle and lion. Um, so before we get started, I'm wanting to do some supports and also some reclassing, so I'll start with the supports just now. Just Whoa, we have so many. Um, okay, so I'll just like let the supports run and then we can take care of the reclassing. Your Highness, I've come to apologize. I mismanaged my feelings and got carried away. I've been thinking about what might have made you say the things you did. I was so caught up in the moment and in my own feelings that I didn't think of what yours might be. No, I should be the one to apologize. I did not intend to say such things. I lashed out like a child. You were right to rebuke me. I am disgusted by my own inability to express myself. Will you allow me to explain? Of course. At the tragedy of Dusker, I saw countless corpses. Of course, I saw his, too. Glenn's. Ingrid, I doubt you would have been able to see him. They were unable to bring his body back, after all. He must have died an agonizing death, full of pain and regret. That is what I saw in his face. In that wasteland, there were no beautiful, proud deaths that could have been written about in heroic tales. Not one! I do not want you to die a death like that. Not even for the sake of loyalty or duty. A king must at times order his soldiers and knights to fight and die on his behalf. Their lives must be used for the greater good. And this is something any good king understands innately. Any king who doesn't allow people to die on his behalf is too soft to rule well. You leave me little room for argument. Have I disappointed you? No. I chose to serve you because of how you are. As your knight, I will stand by your side and uphold your soft-hearted ideals. What has changed, Ingrid? You were so obstinate the other day. I've realized that I haven't been facing a very important truth. Because of you, I can finally move on. Thank you. Hmm. Marianne? Oh, yes? May I sit here? There isn't another open spot. Um, you may. I'm sorry. I should have eaten in my quarters. I know you asked me to stay away from you. No, it's fine. About the other day, when you said you didn't regret risking your own life. I apologize for whatever foolish thing I said to upset you, truly. But, may I ask what happened? It's just, there is only misfortune for anyone who comes near me. Misfortune? I'm afraid so. Especially those with complete disregard for their own safety. Ah, so I didn't defend you. You're trying to tell me I should be more concerned for my own safety. Well, I suppose I could improve in that regard. As for you causing misfortune, I think that's far from the truth. In fact, I find you to be a lucky charm of sorts. Me? Lucky? I'm sorry, but I don't agree with that at all. My entire life up until this point has been nothing but a string of unfortunate events. But misfortune finds us all. Perhaps those around you have suffered or even perished. But look at you. You're still here, alive and well. That's... It doesn't feel good, does it? To be the one left behind? You feel guilt for not dying along with the others. H How did you know? You and I are the same. Maybe you should fear being cursed with misfortune for coming near me. <laughs> <laughs> a smile and a laugh. Coming from you, that's a rarity. This must be my lucky day. I just find the idea amusing. It's strange to think that someone like you could have anything in common with me. Is it so terrible a thought? 
No, no, it's not that. It actually makes me happy. As though there's finally someone who understands how I truly feel. <laughs> I get it. So the Sky God got into an argument with the Earth God, then Dusker was created? To oversimplify it somewhat, yes. <laughs> There's something so mysterious about it. There are only mountains separating us from Dusker, but it's like a completely different world. This has been so interesting. I've never learned so much about it before. There are not many left to pass on the legends of Dusker. Really? That's a shame. It's almost like when someone dies, or a family line ends. I think a place is only truly destroyed when there's no one left to remember it. You should tell more people about Dusker to keep it alive. That is a strange thing to say. Oh? Why do you think that? Dusker is forever the enemy of Fargus. No one cares about our culture or history. I'm different, though. I don't know anyone who was killed by the people of Dusker. I don't hold a grudge against you, and I never have. Um, Dudu? Is this recipe from Dusker? You don't care for it. No, no. I was actually surprised by how much I enjoyed it. Would you teach me how to make it soon? But it seems I am ever the teacher with you, and seldom the student. You're right. I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, I have an idea. My mother taught me to bake the perfect sweets to go with tea. Would you like to learn how to bake them? It's a secret Martreats family recipe that's been passed down for generations. House Martreats of the Empire? I thought they were no more. It's true. My father's family was wiped out in the Empire. I'm the last living descendant. Are you certain you wish to impart such precious memories to me? Of course. Now that my family's gone, I'm the only one who knows the secret. The sweets would vanish from Bodlin if something happened to me. I see your point. Yes, I would like to learn. If you don't have any business here, go away. You're bothering me. Finally spotted me, did you? What do you want? They say you're the best. I wanted to see your training with my own eyes. <laughs> Spying on people. Is that a hobby of yours? I hope you got your fill. Enough to see how to beat you, at least. You think you can beat me? That's right. See, I was trained by... Gerald, yes. So you know. I heard he was your teacher. Perhaps we should test you, see how much of your training sank in. I'm ready if you are. Okay, I'll give you a chance. Sounds good. When? I'll let you know. In the meantime, practice. I won't go easy on you. Oh, don't worry. I'll be ready. This will be fun. Hey, Sylvain. Uh, can we talk? What's up, Ash? Looking for more life tips? Uh, no. But I did want to thank you for coming to my aid in battle the other day. <laughs> that? No need to thank me for that. No, really, I insist. If you hadn't been there, I definitely would have been finished. You really set a model for my training. I can only hope I'll be able to save someone like that someday. Again with the studying and the training? You're so stubborn you make Ingrid and His Highness seem downright easygoing. My advice on the whole thing is to just follow your instincts. That's what I do. If someone's in trouble, I help them. You don't need to be a valiant knight to know that. 
doesn't matter if the person is an ugly old man or the cutest girl you've ever seen. You help them. So you're saying... Everybody's the same, deep down. It's our job to help anyone who needs it. Ah. Oh. What? You're looking at me funny. Did I say something wrong? No, no. I'm just surprised, that's all. You're actually a much better person than I thought. Was that a compliment? I can't tell. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't mean any insult. I was just really impressed by what you said about helping people without even thinking. To jump in and help someone without any thought at all of reward. That is real virtue. <laughs> How did you say that with a straight face? I'd be embarrassed if I were you. Come on, Ash. You're an honest and overall great guy. You'll be an honest and overall great knight, too. Of course, people like you need to watch out for greedy people. Huh? Remember when I said I didn't need any thanks? Well, I didn't say anything about not wanting a reward. There's a girl, and we... We had a misunderstanding about who was allowed to date who, so... Uh, I need to hang out in your room until everything calms down. Should only be a day. Or two. Tops. Sylvain... Come on, Ash. Remember? If someone's in trouble, you help them. You want to be a great knight, yeah? Oh, fine. Since you helped me, but just this once. All right, I knew I could count on you. You'll definitely be a great knight. He really would be a great person. If he could just stop all the scandal. <laughs> Do you know this legend, Ingrid? It's about the Battle of Fodlin's Throat. Oh, yes! I know it like the hilt of my sword. With so many valiant knights appearing in this story, I couldn't help but wonder which was your favorite. I really like this one, the one in the middle, the knight who stands in defense of the Duke. Such a wonderful knight. One of my favorites as well. That makes sense. He's so noble and virtuous. In fact, he kind of reminds me of you. I... <clears throat> Thank you. You remind me of him as well. You are honest, as is he. Uh, no, I, I'm nowhere near as great. Maybe someday. Maybe if we work hard together, we can both become knights as glorious as the one in this story. Together, yes. Now wouldn't that be something? If only we could. Huh? Ash, the legends are exactly that. Legends. They're not indicative of real life. The cards we are dealt are what they are. We can work with what we have, but we can't change what's in our hand. What's that supposed to mean? I long to serve His Highness as a knight. The sort of knight that legends are written about. But I was born bearing a crest, and with that comes responsibility. Whether I like it or not, I am the last hope of House Galatea. I am the only one who can carry on the family bloodline and restore our lost fortune. To do that means setting aside my own dreams and ambitions. You still have the right to pursue your dreams. Ash, I must ask something of you. Yes, of course. Anything. My dream is aligned with your own. Please. For both of us, promise to see yours through. That doesn't seem fair. I'll never be able to see my dream through. Doing so would mean... terrible misfortune for others. So, I am bound by honor not to follow through on my own dream. But, I can help you achieve yours. Come on, this isn't like you at all. Please, don't smile when your eyes are so sad. Oh, is that Marianne? Hmm? Ah, no, sorry. It's just you turned so quickly. It gave me a start. I don't mean to interrupt your prayers, but what's with that posture? Don't you think lowering your head so much might, I don't know, offend the goddess? Maybe, um, spook her a little? 
I'm not praying, only confessing. Confessing? What are you confessing for? For everything about me. That can't possibly be necessary. There's no way you're as bad as you make it seem. I've seen how kind you are with the horses, and I've noticed you're always sensitive to everyone's tastes when you cook. But that's... Yeah, well, if either of us is going to confess, it should be me. I used to be a thief. I may have only stolen because I was poor and starving, but it was still wrong. I'm only even here thanks to Lenato. He gave me a second chance, and now I eat well every day. I'm doing all I can to make the most of it. You're a noble yourself, aren't you? The daughter of Margrave Edmund, I think. And if you're a noble, that means... Do you happen to have a crest? A crest? I do, but it's... I knew it! That's great, Marianne! There's nothing great about it. Please, don't be modest! It's an extraordinary gift! You should be proud of it! If I had one, I'd use it to make sure my brother and sister never had to live in poverty. Think about all the good you could do for the world with your power. No, I can't. You don't understand. This crest is worthless. I'm sorry, but I must go. No, not again. I'm not good at this. <laughs> Mercedes, I swear, the whole cathedral glows with heavenly light when you're around. Hello, Sylvain. What a treat to see you here. I thought you preferred places with more ladies around. I'm here because you're here. And I don't care about other girls. Oh, come now. I'm sure you use that line all the time. Actually, I've only said it to girls who thought I was lying about being faith. You know what? There's no reason to get into all that. The truth is, I would really like to spend some time with you. What do you say to that? Well, if you were really interested in me, I would want you to get to know me better. I agree. I've been such an idiot in the past, always angling for the seduction. I've forgotten how to just talk to someone. You act like you're full of regret, but I know you don't really mean it. Still, I'm glad to hear you say that at least. I told you such a boring story the last time we spoke. I was worried you might think I was a dull person. Dull? No. I was worried that I'd made you remember unhappy times. It's horrible what you had to go through. It's not like anyone chooses to be born with a crest. Right. We can't choose our bloodline. You've got a crest too, haven't you, Sylvain? What has your experience been like? Are you asking how being born with a crest affected me? Yes. I know there was that business with your brother Miklon, but I'm sure you don't want to talk about all that. It's not a very happy story. Please don't feel the need to hold back on my account. I'm here if you need someone to share in your pain. Would you want to know more about me, even if I didn't have a crest, or come from a noble family? This has nothing to do with your crest or family. I'm just asking as your friend. How should I put this? When I look at you, I don't see a crest. I want to see the real you. You... you do? Here's the short version. I hate crests. Even though having one is supposed to be such a great blessing, mine has ruined everything. Miklon was heir to our house. Then I was born, and I became the heir because I had a crest. That made my older brother jealous enough to want to kill me. And every woman in Fothen wants to have my little crest baby so they can join the nobility. Yeah, there you go. That's what it's like to have a crest. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to dredge up such awful things. No, I... I should keep my temper better. I don't want you to see me act that way. Don't say that. I'm glad we were able to talk. I feel like I'm finally seeing the real you. Oh, Sylvain, will you save me from the curse of having a crest? Of course. I think I love you. And I mean that with all my heart. I love you, Mercedes. Let's get married and have crest babies. Sure, sure.
Hello, Marianne. All done for the day. Oh, Sylvain. Yes, I was just heading back to my quarters. Well then, my timing couldn't be better. I was just heading into town and I thought, maybe you'd like to join me? Um, I don't think I should. I heard a story once about a beautiful maiden who was locked up in a monastery day and night. She was held prisoner by her own fear of the outside world. Then a brave knight set the girl free and took her to town, where they drank tea and talked for hours. So, my fair maiden? Please, you should not waste your time on me. Besides, my adoptive father requested that I not stray too far from the monastery. Margrave Edmund wants to keep you locked up, huh? I've heard he's... Uh, let's call it ambitious. Well, just tell him who I am. I think he'd approve. I'm heir to House Gautier, one of the most prominent families in the kingdom. I've got a crest, I've got money, and I'm stunningly handsome. What's that face for, Marianne? Was it the handsome thing? I can see how that might have been a bit much. I... I don't really know you all that well, but I don't think it makes a difference. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me that you have a crest. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean you should find my crest impressive. I meant your family would, and... You know what? Maybe I should start over. If you're going into town, please just go without me. Oh, okay. I've got to get going anyway. Places to be, you know. <laughs> Well, this is me going. But remember, should you ever need me, I will forever be your knight, my maiden. I wonder what he meant by that. Hello, Marianne. You're well, I hope. I am, Lawrence. Thank you. I cannot help but notice you do not look it. Is that so? I feel fine. Hmm. Well, was there something you needed? Uh, how unseemly of me. My apologies. It is not my intention to stare. Does something about me seem... off? Oh, not at all. I was just remembering your father. Or rather, comparing my experience of him to you. Your father, Margrave Edmund. He is one of the shrewdest nobles in all the Alliance, with a noted gift for pointed speech. On and beyond the battlefield, his words have the power to move friend and foe alike. My own father has said he would not want to make an enemy of him. Naturally, I am of the same mind. Your father is blessed with gifts of confidence and eloquence. Yet compared to him, you seem always reticent and downcast. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to cause you discomfort. It's just that the contrast between you and your father is striking. I have very little in common with my adoptive father. But he sent you to Garrick Mock. Clearly, he sees potential in you. I think I see it, too. Yes, a certain charm, gravitas, if you will. Just like him. Oh. I can't say that I know too much about him. I should be going now. Y yes, y yes, of course. Please, take care. Oh, such grace, such serenity. How could such a beauty be hiding in plain sight? With a little polish, she would shine magnificently. Hey Lawrence, got a minute? Certainly. I trust you're well? Doing great. I found a load of old weapons, just got done hauling them out of storage. Old weapons, you say? If there are any interesting swords in there, I would love to see them. They might only be good for training, but with a little care, who knows? Here, have some oil. And uh, why exactly are you giving this to me? Like I said, they need a little care. With a bit of maintenance, some of these will really shine. Yes, I heard you. So why did you give me the oil? It's for polishing, Lawrence. 
don't tell me you've never polished a weapon before. But that is hardly a task befitting someone of my station. If you had an exquisite blade, something of real historical significance to complement my noble heritage, that would be another matter. In that case, appraise while you polish, you're bound to find something good working through these. This seems as fine an occasion as any to air my grievances. I am a highborn noble. As such, it is my sworn duty to protect the common folk. I have no time for trivialities. What's more, you seem to be under the misapprehension that you can order me about. Please think carefully about how you speak to me. I'm not ordering you around. And I'm not talking to you as a noble, either. I'm asking you to help me with this. As a friend. I am your friend, but I am also a noble. Those two qualities are not mutually exclusive. Oh, good. Let's get to it then, buddy. Okay, so we're done with the supports for now. Um, so I'm just wanting to go and do a couple of certifications. Um, so I had a wee look through uh, just before and there's a couple that can change and that I'm wanting to change. So the first one is Petra. She's maxed out her current class. And we still have a few uh, levels to go before she can get to her advanced class. Um, and then, so her two options at the moment really are mercenary and archer. Uh, these both kind of fit in for the assassin class that she's aiming for. But I think I'd prefer to go with mercenary because um, like, so it's not so, like, the thief I kind of prefer for because it's got, like, a lot more speed, but at the moment she's lacking strength, the mercenary gives a bit of a boost to her strength growth, growth. and also you get the skill vantage, which I think could be quite nice for her, whereas for archer you just get, like, a hit boosting skill, uh, and for the most part her hit rate is pretty good anyway, so... If I've got a problem with the hit, then I would probably be going for a different solution for it than having a skill that's permanently equipped in order to hit things. Um, so I'm going to reclass her to Mercenary and hope that she gets a bit stronger and can carry better weapons or not have her speed getting deducted by the weapon weight. I have the... Um, and the other one that we can reclass at the moment is Lorenz and he's, all, he's not chosen what he wants to do yet so at the moment he's learning lances and magic uh, but I think I'm actually going to choose magic um, I was kind of hoping that he would choose before we got to this point because it's kind of a big difference uh, in, in classes but um, yeah, I quite like like I quite like him as a mage, so since he's not chosen anything yet and since he has maxed out soldier, I feel like it's not so bad for me to go go ahead and choose this. Um so I could even make him a dark mage, this would mean that he would learn poison strike. Uh, or I can make him a mage, which means that he'll learn uh, fiendish blow, which is uh, you get like extra magic uh, extra damage when you initiate a magic attack. Um, so both of these could be pretty useful, like for the main difference between the classes apart from... Oh, I didn't check these actually, so... Hmm, Heartseeker could be useful for him. Because his dexterity is not... Well, it's getting better. Uh, so... Hmm. This one gives some, so this one gives some more magic and mage gives some more res. I'm kind of tempted to go with the dark mage because then the skill that he learns, uh, poison strike, will also be useful if he decides to become a non-magic unit whereas fiendish blow is only useful if he, be, if he ultimately becomes a mage. Um, yeah, okay.
Was there... Of course, in the next chapter he's probably going to immediately decide that he doesn't want to be a mage and then I'll need to change him, but... <laughs> in the meantime, I can use him as mage in the next battle. Uh, so everyone else has not really maxed out anything and doesn't need to be changed at the moment. So I think Dimitri is one of the ones that's going to be... No. Uh, oh yeah, I, I'm like almost maxed out in this Pegasus Knight class. Um, so I was kind of a bit tempted to switch to something else for this battle. Uh, because for the next battle I definitely want to have a flying unit. But yeah, I'll just, I'm just going to leave myself as I am because I think in this map as well it might also be useful to have a bit of extra um, mobility. Although this will mean that I don't get bonuses from terrain unless I dismount my Pegasus. Um, okay, so let's head into the mission. Um, so I'm putting up the squad priority, uh, which has changed since the start of this month because we had uh, Hilda asking to join and she replaced to do, but then immediately so, afterwards Leone to asked battlefield. to join and replaced Hilda. Ronder field. Are you feeling confident, Professor? Excellent. That's most reassuring. We can win. I'm sure of it. After all, it's not as though we've spent the last half year sitting idle. And I'm feeling stronger this moon. As though I could conquer a thousand opponents all on my own. You can depend on me. I hope you know that. Well, it's about time for the battle to begin. Everyone, brace yourselves. <laughs> all I'm worried about is finding someone worthy to cross swords with. We've prepared and trained a great deal. We should be fine, right? You're always so carefree, Mercy. Don't forget we need to try our hardest out there so we can win. This is our chance to show how hard we've been working. Let's do our best. If I emerge victorious in the lauded battle of the Eagle and Lion, the ladies are sure to take notice. I'll have to go into hiding. Ugh, is that all you think about? Yeah, actually, so long as you try your hardest, frame it however you like. <laughs> I shall give it my all. No matter the battle, I will never falter. We're counting on your guidance, Professor. Let's show the world what the Blue Lions are made of! Okay, so we've got a typical uh, 10 person squad and I need to change it a wee bit because we just did a parallel with to do. He's no longer in the squad but of course he had to take part in his parallel. So I need to make sure that we're actually matching the, the squad priority. So um, I've got Bernadetta, Ash, Annette, Petra, Leone, Lorraine, and then Mariana Mercedes. Uh, and then I will assign my... So Ingrid and Sylvain are the next two in the list, so at some point, in, or at least in some of the battles, they're also going to be getting used. So I want to assign them to make sure that they're always staying levelled. Uh, so I'm, I'll go by based on what supports they can have. So at the moment, uh, Mercedes can have Sylvain. And Ingrid... Okay, I'll give Ingrid to Dimitri. Uh, and then otherwise, I can really just 
choose whoever I want. Uh, so I might have a look at the map first because maybe it'd be useful to have to do it as on someone for the defense boost. And the other thing I was wanting to do was to count how many enemies are actually in uh, an enemy squad because the goal for this battle is that we kill more enemies than any other team but I think if every team is equal in numbers then all we really need to do is not lose anyone. Okay, so the yellow team has 15, so that is more than us. We only have 10. Okay, I think the red is also 15. So, yeah, so we actually also need to worry about the count a wee bit. We're going to need to... Um, yeah, I guess we need to kill at least 15 units. Well, 16. But then the reds and the yellows are going to be killing some of each other, so I think it's going to be... Like, I'd, I'd, it's never been problematic before, I think it should be okay this time as well. Um, so I'm going to quickly have a look and see what we've got. So, um, some of the units from both of these teams we've already poached, so they've got like a lot of generic units instead. We still have a couple that we haven't recruited. Uh, and Claude's speed is a lot less than I'd expected. So last time I saw Claude, he had like way more speed than any of my units, and he was like just sort of doubling everything. One thing that I would really like to do is steal his evasion ring, so I need to try to remember to get Petra to steal this for me. Uh, except she can't because, oh no, I'll need to remember to equip her steel skill because then she can steal it for me. Um, and wow, Raphael is like super fast. This is like so strange. And he has Tome Breaker, so yeah, this is interesting. Like I've never, like they don't normally have these kinds of um, fancy skills in hard mode. Um, so he also will get more strength when his HP is low. This is like, I mean, this is like a master class skill. So they're really like going all out with giving unfair skills to the enemy units here. Um, but yeah, basically this means that I definitely don't want Raphael to be hitting me when he's got low health because he'll do a lot of damage. And he'll like hit like up to four times potentially because he's also using gauntlets. Uh, on, and also his protection is really high and he has Tone Breaker, so... Hmm... <laughs> this is going to be fun. Uh, yeah, so I guess like... I mean, if I can hit him, then this is still the way to go. So I might need to use a Gambit on him or something to get him to be more hitable. <laughs> it's already looking pretty tough. Um, these also have like some pretty interesting um, skills, this warding blow as well, so... Oh, this is fine, as long as I'm attacking them. This is just if they're attacking a magic user, my magic user won't do any damage. Oh, but they can't be sealed. That's... that's fun. That's interesting. You normally only see this sort of thing on bosses, so Lysithia has also got this... This is something that normally she is absolutely not able to get, and if you're if she's in your team, she cannot get this skill, so this is the game cheating again. Uh, and this dark magic avoid, I don't think she can normally get either, so she is using dark magic and she has this boost to avoid. She also has a boost to hit when uh, foes are adjacent. Um, yeah, so she's gonna, yeah, so she's got like 43 avoid when she's like not even sitting on anything. Um, huh. okay, this is super lame. <laughs> Uh, Claude presumably has close counter. Yep, so he'll counter attack even if I'm hitting him from up close. He also has extra authority. And he has a gambit, so he'll probably use this if he gets a chance. Uh, it does have a low chance of hitting, but his charm is like really high. It's got 28 charm, of course. 
I don't think any of my units have such high, high charm unless I have got it by cheating at tea times every time I've had an opportunity for the past like three months. Uh, otherwise, okay, he does not have the bow range skill, which is one blessing. He does have a long bow though. Uh, which is basically equivalent, but it also has... Okay, it still has 70 hit. Uh, yeah. This is gonna be annoying. I'm gonna definitely be wanting to use gambits on these people. Um, we've got... Is this Vantage? Battalion Vantage? Desperation. Okay, so this is only when they initiate combat. We've got more of these Defiant Strengths. So I guess they're basically, like... Uh, making all of these units better than they normally would be to account for the fact that some of the main party, as in the main house, are actually missing. These are just our standard archers with poison strike. They were scary for a while, they're now just annoying. Um, we've got like a brigand with plus 20 chance to hit. And... Oh, so this is like, I really don't, I really, really don't want these ones to be to be initiating combat because this puts the speed up to 17, uh, the attack speed which is pretty much going to double most of my units apart from Petra, I really don't want this happening. Um, or at least the only unit I want going anywhere near them is Petra with an axe breaker and her amazing speed that she has anyway. Uh, okay, we've got a sword breaker. And then so he has bow range and he's an archer so his bow range is already like 3 so he's actually going to have a bow range no this is his archer thing okay never mind so he has bow range of like 2 to 3 he does not have a long bow he's got like a hit boost okay this skill does not normally exist he has like another cheating skill that the game has decided to give him um Sword prowess is not going to help him at all. The seal speed is not very nice, but he doesn't have close counter, so actually if I can get up to him, he's got no chance. Uh, I've got quite a few of these sword breakers again. So yeah, so I guess I'm going to want to lure the sword breakers quite early and then send Petra to take out the axe units. Uh, more sword breakers. I think I'm going to possibly put a lance on the on my Pegasus Knight self. Um, and we've got this annoying... Oh, with an archer with vantage. Interesting. Uh, of course, this is not... Oh! Okay, so this is just going to mean that the enemy is not going to go for this, so I'm not going to be able to just let the enemy take them out and stop attacking me with this ballista. Uh, of, co of course... It's not going to stop me from seeing them. I can see that they're there. I'm going to go and take them out. Um, and then the vantage thing is not going to matter because I'm going to be using... Like, it would only matter if I tried to kill them with an archer. So if I use someone who's right next to them, they don't have close counters, so... It's fine. It's really a lot of sword breakers. Okay, we have more sword breakers. Here, some really high speeds from these Pegasus Knights. Uh, I don't think I have I don't have anyone with Lance Breaker because I don't have any axe users at the moment. Okay, they have like this avoid. I think I'm gonna be wanting to take these down with archers. I think I'm gonna want to lure these really quickly and take them down with my whole squad because they're gonna be like they're like very fast, they're really gonna mess me up if I leave them leave them around. Uh, Ferdinand Okay, so he has like this bonus when he has no damage, and he also has a sword breaker. Sword breaker plus in this case, so he gets like an extra boost. So all of the enemies are getting like plus versions of everything. Yeah. Okay, now we've got some anti lance units. Oh my goodness! It's like a sneaky thief with like fancy stuff. So this is like a Pegasus Knight skill, or at least a flying skill that this thief has got. And this is one that I've never seen before. So this is for, yes, yeah, so for archers and stuff. Um, 
it makes it harder to hit them. So I'm gonna have trouble if I'm not right up close. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, like, but for this one I can just get around it by making sure that they're actually initiating combat and then that means that then the next turn I'll be able to... You know, there won't be any bonus. Oh, they also have Armor Slayer, but I don't have anyone who is armoured, so it doesn't matter. I just realised I haven't actually checked weapons. I was also meaning to check the inventory, because all of these items can be stolen. And in some cases it would be very preferable to steal them. So for instance, if I can reduce Edelgar's accuracy, that will make a big difference to her, because... Okay, I just saw that her is actually pretty good. Her hit is really good. So obviously... <laughs> The Edelgard of chapter of the prologue mission is no more, she's actually really good now. Uh, she also has this attack speed of 13, how is that even possible? Um, okay, but she has some of- oh and she has a hit boost, okay no wonder she's got such good hit. Uh, she presumably also- yep, she also has a combat, so <laughs> that's annoying. <laughs> What's going on here? Okay, so he's going to be hard to kill with um, mages, and yeah, he's got white magic. He has really poor attack speed, um, and he can't be silenced. Um, Hubert is going to be difficult also, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he's going to do more damage when his HP is lower. Um, and he also can't be silenced. And does he also have- he also has a battalion. Uh, oh, a lot of these guys. Uh, so, okay, a lot of- it looks like all the students have battalions. Casper has landscaper. Oh, he has axes. Ah, oh, interesting. Uh, he has, so he has axes and he also has desperation. Okay. Dorothea has got this dodge skill, cheeky dodge skill, and this boost to- oh my goodness, so she has like 22 attack speed if she initiates combat. Let's not- let's not uh, deal with that, let's not have- let's not have that happen. She's not allowed to initiate combat on me. Uh, with any luck, she'll run out of thunder on the other enemies before I, she gets anywhere near me and she'll just be hitting me with a rubbishy slur before she'll do no damage. <laughs> no, that's not gonna happen because she has like 20 fire uses as well. Uh, that's just gonna be horrible. I'm not, I'm not happy. <laughs> so I also want to try to get this chest. Um, Ash has got his lockpick thing. So I don't need to buy any keys for it, but um, I just need to not die. <laughs> uh, so theoretically, um, if someone dies it's not a big problem, but actually it is. So. <laughs> because if they die then I have to kill more other, more other enemies in order for it to not deduct from my score. Uh, what's this talisman shield? I have a feeling it's going to be heavy and I won't want it. Wait for... Maybe for like, maybe for Dimitri since he's so slow he's getting doubled by anything and everything. Um, in fact yes, Dimitri can take this shield. Uh, and Dido does not need this ring because not in the party. So I'm gonna I'm gonna reclaim all of his stuff. I can keep this point look. In fact you can, you can keep the steel ones. Um, Okay, oh, I'm a mage now. We'll get rid of these other lances. I'll keep this training lance. It's so light that it's not going to affect... Uh, okay, it would take one point away from his attack speed. Which is 
really low still. It's like a terrible speed. Oh. Um, petrol fully has good speed. Um, Leone, I'm wondering whether it would be worth already giving her another weapon because there's so many lance breakers and stuff. Um, so I think maybe I would like to give her a bow in case it's like worth changing to for whatever reason. Um, Petra also has a bow so that'll be useful for her when she's down near the sword uh, the sword breaker units she can ship them instead. Um, Ash is only working on bows really. And Bernadetta I should theoretically also be using lots of this. I'll just check my abilities. Uh, so if I actually equipped uh, an axe, I could use Landsbreaker. This is somewhat tempting in fact because I have quite a few Lance wielding units that it would be nice to have something to counter them with and at the moment nobody else has got this. Uh, so actually I'm going to give myself a Lance, I mean an axe. as well, which is lighter. Uh, and I have a training axe, which is... Okay. So I'm going to take the training axe and I'm going to take the plus axe. The training axe I can use without any speed penalty and the, the other one will give me a one point speed penalty. something useful I can have from these things. Okay, so... I have this Night Kneeler which would help for damage against Ferdinand if I'm using uh, lances. This grounder that is good against um, flying units, but they all have sword breakers, so that's useless. I think I'll maybe take the smash skill. I'll keep the wind sweep because it will be useful against the other guy. Um, and I think I'm going to give Dimitri this horse killing weapon again because um, there's quite a few horse units and he seemed to be doing really well with actually being able to kill things with it. Um, I think I'll get rid of this training sword. No, I'll just leave it like this. Um, but I'm going to give him his night killing Okay, he already has it. Um, okay, sure. Hmm, Bernadette, I can have shove now.
And she also has this night meal. Mm. No, I think she's gonna be better at doing that. Hmm. Frozen lands I definitely want to keep because this stops the units from moving. Uh, Grounder skill is pointless because these all have... Uh, like all, the Pegasus Knights all have this lance break. Do they? Maybe they don't. I'm going to open one since. Okay, yeah, they have sword breakers so I don't want to be really using swords against them. Okay. Um, and I want to have a quick look to see if anyone can get a better battalion. So Annette is already C, Petra has also got a C. Um, okay, Dimitri, I can potentially get a different one. But I doubt it's going to be better than what he has. I'll have a wee look just in case. He might even be getting to the level where uh, his battalion... No, he's still a long way off from having the battlefield uh, endurance related skills kicking in. Um, so for Dimitri I'm kind of focusing on protection and physical attack. Um, and the charm for the... Oh, this is the skill that I had before that was really nice. Oh, I like this one. I'm like, quite tempted to put this line of lances on him. It'll make him even more tanky. Oh, oh like really, really tanky. He needs to stay away from mages anyway. Um, this is also nice because it gives him a boost to his hit, but I don't like the assault trip that much. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna give him this uh, heavy soldiers, and this is gonna give him like some ridiculous protection value. Yeah, like 28. <laughs> oh my. And then the enemies are all going to be doing like. Oh no. Okay, so there's like quite a few that are doing like one damage. Oh, I wonder if I can get him up to like 29 protection. If he had that, then he would be taking like more damage from many of these enemies. Hmm. Like nice, but not quite enough. And some of the like, all of the ones that are that he's getting hit by are like gonna still do like possibly hit him twice. Raphael, it's ridiculous. Hmm. It's like, this is like such a high value, but it's not enough. And there's like yes, yeah, it's like nine. I don't think I can get him anymore. He's already got this shield. Uh, he's got a boost from the cooking. Hmm. Could maybe give him the do. I wonder what happens if I give him to do it as his extra time. It's still 28. He has a chance to like occasionally block damage. I think I'm gonna do that and go to someone else. Hmm. Okay, he's got 
Okay, I'll give her to us. Ah yes, so of course because I've um, swapped my battalion mount, um, Dimitri no longer has a partially excluded uh, battalion. <laughs> Come back! Um, and I just want to check my weapons are all still not about to break. Slightly tempted to change Petra's sort of plus. In fact, I'm just going to do it. Thanks a bunch. Um. Okay. Come back. Oh yeah, I want to put steel on Petra. And I want to give her axe break up also. So if I'm using the bows, I don't want her to be within range. Okay, so his battalion wrath is not going to kick in at all, so I'm just going to switch him over to the lance press and sword breaker also. Oh, actually, mm, do I want him to have? Mm. I'll keep him with the extra HP. I need to stop procrastinating and just get on with this. Kind of nervous. <laughs> okay, so I want Petra over on the side. Um, no, actually no, because I want my archers. If I can them. They're going to help me take down these flying units if I can get them over. She's going to be down here. I would quite like to have like Dimitri and Leone together as like a kind of a tanky pair, but like uh, they don't have any supports together, so it's a bit pointless. Uh, Marianne can be over here, she's been building supports with Dimitri. Okay. I'm going to use this for a moment.
kids of the Leonie and Lorenz together. The battle of the eagle and lion is set to begin at long last. Everyone, show off the results of your dedicated training. Remember, we're not just fighting for honor. There's a prize at stake. It's almost time to begin. Steal yourselves, everyone. You all should know. I am not about to go easy on you today. As long as we can pull off the win, it doesn't matter how. Our victory must be absolute, no matter what it may take. It is time. Okay, so if we can lose units, but we don't want to. Um, and we want some swag. So, okay, I'm gonna try to lure at least this one over to this side. And, but my main focus on this round is hopefully getting these Pegasus Knights coming towards me while I still have everyone ready to take them uh, I also want to. I'm gonna start with just. Sending Dimitri to bait the force units. Quite often. And at some point, the oh enemy no. is going to, like, one of the houses is going to get cut through. I'll give it my all. Stay focused. Okay, so the 16 is down, and they don't have anything that's going to increase their, their attack. I just realised I've forgotten about the skill and I need to work out who gets it because it would be useful for Violet. Um, anyway. Let's get to it! I stand ready. Okay. So, Leone also has quite good protection. And it should get like a wee bit of a boost from being next to Lorenz. And her speed is decent. In fact, it's good. So she can go from here. Here we go! And hopefully we won't have to deal with I will get the too many enemies in the next round. Oh yeah, I forgot that the that being just for the archers. The black eagles and blue lions are fighting. Maybe we can sneak right past them. Okay, so we're currently at um, one kill. We're needing at least 15, preferably 16. 
Okay, so I've got like this 20 feet uh, and I'm gonna have like an avoid this so I'll also have like an advantage over these units because I've got my uh, axe and my lance here probably. Oh, or not because I forgot to equip it. What have I got? Oh, I still have this one. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I do have a boost on my avoid. Thanks for that. Yeah, so we're still um we're uh, we're still trying to get rid of these um oh, oh. I was going to switch to a lance, oh well. Okay. Keep making mistakes. Ferdinand from their way. Did Dimitri just level up? Or was that to do? Amazing. Predictable. Shut up! Ugh. Super lame. <laughs> Who told you to jump out there? Now we've got no choice. Capture the central hill. Yeah, so normally in this battle it's Lorenz that is like yeah! being a idiot that uh, initiates this, but they've got like some other line for like when there's a random unit on. Okay, I think our kill count is at two. Wow, that's really poor. Okay, I've better luck with the lance because we've got this lance boost, so yeah, I should have very much remembered to actually equip the skill I was going to equip. But it's truly now. Um, okay, my speed should also not be a problem. I could possibly do with making sure I don't get shot by the archer. I was hoping I could get to like one square further than this. I can't. Okay, my speed is still high enough to not get hit twice. So that's fine. Uh, but yeah, I don't want it to be here. And yeah, indeed, Dimitri's protection has gone up again, so now he's not taking any damage from these 29 ones, which is really, really lovely. Okay.
It's our calculus, it's free. I don't know why I'm highlighting all of these. Uh, okay. We definitely don't want Lorenz going anywhere near this. Oh, the steel option. Okay, it's just for a villain move. Maybe we do want Lorenz doing this. I'm definitely feeling that this right hand's flank is good. I'm to flank at the moment. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're up at uh, 4 kills now. Watch and learn. So Ferdinand is held back by the bushes, so this means that I should have a chance, a good chance of getting rid of these super annoying uh, flying units before he gets to me. Um, what's my speed that I'm trying to beat? It's 18. I'm just not going to get anywhere near this. I've really messed up by not assigning that axe skill. Uh, okay. <laughs> My Bernadette is like doing so much damage with her gold. I've exhausted. Okay. I'm going to go. Actually, I'm not going to draw Bertrand because I don't know what the skills are. Okay, Swordbreaker. Yeah, and the thing where he gets more defense when he initiates combat. Okay, it's fine. I'm fine with not having him in range there. Uh, I would quite like to draw some of these up towards Dimitri since he's like so stupidly overpowered with his defence right now, but get him on to Um And I have forgotten to... Forgotten to... Um, I need that! 
use the rally on someone. That's truly no. Okay, no. What else is there? Okay, so I have this one axe with this 20 plus hit thing. 34 damage, 11 speed. I think Petra should be able to take this on without too much trouble. I'll give her the training sword to increase her chances of dodging it. I'd quite like to bring a Delta over here for um, helping Petra out. Okay, I'm at uh, five, five points now. I owe you one. So all the golden deer are boosted. Okay, this is nice. We don't have this archer there anymore to annoy us. I'm curious just what the boost is going to mean though. Okay, I want to get Ferdinand off of this. Um, so, yeah, so this 29 has gone up to um, 31. They've probably all been boosted for their speed as well. Uh, at any rate, I don't have to worry about this archer anymore, which is nice. Um, I do have to worry about Claude stuff. <laughs> And I can start sending Bernadette over to be this or something. You're not over? Okay, so I think the horse slayer. Yeah, <laughs> Um, and I don't know if you saw this little line uh, that appeared when we were doing the attack, but I think Dimitri has this boost from Dudu which can sometimes block like two damage or whatever. Uh, he's probably not going to do very well against the axe unit. Oh my goodness, how heavy is that? Oh god, his AS is one. Oh, this is going to be bad. I forgot the horse there, so it's super heavy. So Dimitri's basically just taken a massive uh, deduction to his attack speed. I think he should d still avoid it, but uh, still uh, survive. But it's not <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, and then the other units we have here... So it's basically this guy with the axe. Who I think will probably go after Dimitri because uh, Dimitri is sitting there going, I have no speed. <coughs> okay, so I think Raphael is going down. Yeah! Edelgard's went and been very nice and used uh... Oh no, the two the black eagles are also boosted. <laughs> Uh, we're at six kills. Okay. 
So I need to take out this one and get ready for Ferdinand, who does 34 damage and has 14 speed, which is rather a lot. Yeah, and this unit seems to be really high defense also. I'm sorry. I don't want to try to take him on with magic. I can't. Check for the. Okay, I need to rewind. <laughs> need to check for the um, counter. Yay. Okay. What this? Oh, he has a short axe. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's do this differently. I'll cut through. Stay focused. I'll give it my all. Ferdinand has a short spear, so he also is doing range attacks. Okay. 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 Here goes. Well done. I think I'm going to leave Claude where he is for a little longer. I stand ready. Mm. Let's get to it. Okay. Here we We're go. Still at the bottom, I, mean. I will We're get the victory. Time. Not enough. I think we were a six, I'm gonna count from six. Seven. Wow, this is like no damage at all. I'm at my limit. Oh, does this one have this attack speed boosting thing? No. 
So why is it they just have twice? Understand why they just put two pets there. Uh, I'm wanting to pull Dimitri back I think, and heal him. We have shove in position. Mm. Okay, so the weight is the same for both of these. I guess they were boosted or something temporarily? Because there's nothing in the... Uh, there's nothing here that should mean that they would have... Four points... The four points would be required. Quite helpful. Okay, but we can we should at least be able to keep Dimitri alive now. Um so I kinda want to get some of these archers up towards me. I'll put like a little marker on Claude because I don't want to get him too early. Um Caspar is not super problematic, I don't think. He has an axe. So he has a short axe. And he has really high hit rates. Okay, I think I'm gonna lure out these archers. We're at seven. Once again, this one has hit me twice. Yeah, so I'm quite happy to have I'll Casper cast come and try his luck with Dimitri. Lorenz is still being just so <laughs> Oh, Baron, that's a specific one. Well, 
Oh my goodness, it's a gorgeous. Is on the move as well now. I haven't stolen this page in yet. Uh, okay, so. Oh, nice. He's using his iron axe instead of his short axe. I've been very disappointed by Ash's um, attack levels in this. He's really doing very little damage. Okay. Quite helpful. Stay focused. Okay, so Dorothea. Uh, gets a boost to her magic. So she would be doing like. Oh, she gets a boost to her speed. So her speed will be enormous. Um, and she's 36 magic, so she'd be hitting twice. I don't really want to be dealing with that. Um, maybe let her travel. Take on this one. I'm just going to stay where I am. Okay. So I have both. Oh, so Claude and Azagard are going to fight each other. I'm just going to like draw this archer back to me. Finally, we've got Ash doing some decent damage. Let's see if I can get him doing a bit more. Um, he's not going to be bad managing to beat Dorothea's space, but a wee bit more Thank you. damage should be helpful. I'm certain. I think that uh, Marianne should be able to do some damage without dying. Or not. My goodness. Marianne, why are you a bitch? Okay. Uh, I don't have any vantage to deal with. So I think I'm okay with this. Making sure that um, this is 9 speed versus 17. Okay, so it all depends on whether I can survive this one. Okay, I think 
I feel safer with helping myself against Dorothea. So now we're at 10 or 11. Claude's now up to 17 speed and 41 attack. These boosts are like pretty intense. Um, maybe I should trigger Claude. Okay, 17 speed, 21 attack. Forty one attack. Oh, protection value is twenty three. Maybe I would prefer him to get damaged before <laughs> they go near him. Oh, wow. Okay, I think I don't know if I'm really wanting to be dealing with us just yet. Uh, okay. I can always rewind. Oh, Ooh, he's been gambled. Well done. I hate to say it, but it seems we're out. Okay, so we have... Okay, four left. I don't know if we've really got enough to, um, to win this. But there's no more golden deer, so it's just us versus the, the other ones. If I should boost again. It's been a bit disappointing. Much appreciated. Uh, yeah, so we're definitely going to be wanting to use Gambit's on Edelgard, I think. I'll just let her come to me. A great help! I'm thinking I wish that Bernadetta was on this ballista instead because she can actually do some damage. Thank you! Okay, let's, um, 
that Suze gun put on his approach. Mm-hmm. Okay, Linhart should have quite low attack. So <laughs> he's got more magic than he ever got in any of my playthroughs. He shouldn't have that much magic. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> Uh, do I not have a fight on Is it storm or distance? <laughs> uh, okay. I think I want to back off so that I can get Petra to steal her accuracy then. Because she also has a ranged weapon, okay. Thank you. On the left here is gonna be the one that I uh, like leave alive until I get my chips. that all of the attacks are going to be reduced in accuracy now so actually if Edelgard was attacking Petra it would now be like I guess 30% instead of 50% so it's a bit better. She's currently got the tomahawk equipped I would rather she had the steel axe equipped because then obviously I would be able to uh, use ranged attacks the honor like from Lawrence and stuff. I don't know. She probably has the counter attack from anyway. Okay, apparently not. Um, okay. It's better but still not great. I think Ash is gonna do more damage. Um, <laughs> If you stand in my way, I would. I think I'm too. No. I need a pet. Oh nice, so her, mer her mercenaries are now gone, uh, so she's going to, yeah, like we've got a nice hit to all of her stats, this is nice. So I think I don't need to use a gamble on her after all, um, I might even be able to kill her with like, someone rubbish, like, <laughs> no I can't, no, he's so far too rubbish, okay. maybe you can do a gamble. This atrocious we'll cover you. Is that all? Uh, of course. She on a dodge tail, not even. Okay, 
Leone can get me. I'm sorry, but I must. Um, so we're pretty much sorted now, I'm just wanting to like clear up the last few things, like getting this chest and stuff. Um, and then, I'm not really sure how it worked out with the count, so... I guess they would have said that we'd lost. If we had. Uh, what's the conditions? Okay, so they just have to the enemy, but then I guess there's a story thing if we win. Um, and I don't know if they actually did get more than anyone else. I mean, but... Probably. It's probably time. Uh, okay, so... Lorenz gonna be useless. But maybe this down is okay. Oh, it's so useless. There's definitely no point in obviously using <laughs> a um, magic attack against this guy. Uh, I don't know if it's worth trying to get into the gambit just now. Is there someone who could do the level up more? So now we have like three people for this game. Still sixty percent. But it was enough. Okay, so one more. Okay, so they are all like quite significant higher level like those twenty ones and stuff but it still feel a bit like the game is cheating with these master classes and stuff. Okay. This one has a gambit. Sword unit. I've got a sword breaker somewhere. Thanks. 
Let's eat before doing anything. 21. Mmm. Okay. That's the manage. Because I did the speed boost on the only last time. Hmm. I think I could do the doing a gamble on the streamer. Oh, it's too much. I don't want to kill it on the first step. Okay, that's my So that gives us yeah, a nice uh, wee decrease in the attack speed, which means that Leone can now do some damage without dying. And not much help for Lorenz here, but maybe he can actually get some up close. Yeah, so we then can get to 11, so I think we're going to be able to take, um, take this one out. Let's try. Not as hard. So nice of you. Yes, yeah, so of course, the slight like, boost that we get for Lorenz is from the heart super skill that he has uh, from his dark mage class. <laughs> That is the killed. end of this year's Battle of the Eagle and Lion. And the winners are the Blue Lion. Oh, yeah. Okay, we did get enough. <laughs> we won. And just we didn't get our evasion I'm certain we have earned the prize as well. Well done, your princeliness. I'm certainly not in any hurry to get on your bad side. I assumed you would attack us head on. I clearly need to rethink my opinion of you. Well done, Dimitri. You both deserve equal praise for a battle well fought. All three houses did extremely well. Don't you agree, Professor? It only seemed that way because of the caliber of your command. Even now, we must not allow ourselves to become complacent. In any case, I hope the day never comes when we have to put this experience to use. I wouldn't mind. I'll accept a challenge from either of you at any time. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. That is nothing to joke about. The true battle of the eagle and lion is best left in the past. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if they eventually change the name of this mock battle. How admirable, Teach. On that note, I have a proposition. When we get back to Garrig Mach, let's have a grand feast to break down the walls between our respective houses. And by a grand feast, I mean a fairly regular feast in the dining hall. 
You really value that kind of thing, don't you? <sighs> well, I suppose no harm can come from it. Count me in. I have no objections either. And you, Professor? You look so... happy. I love seeing you like this. I suppose that look on your face is just another boon from this glorious day. Perhaps the best one of all. I had a wonderful time today, Professor. As usual, I was astonished by how much you ate in the name of celebration. Really, though, I must thank you again. Our victory in the Battle of the Eagle and Lion was thanks in no small part to you. Yes, that is true. But it was your instruction that allowed us to reach our full potential. I feel silly admitting this now. But when you first came to lead our class, you unnerved me. You never smiled, and you never showed anger, either. And yet, you didn't appear to be suppressing your emotions. They just... weren't there. At first, I thought perhaps you just didn't care for us. But I soon concluded that wasn't the case at all. For the longest time, I just couldn't tell what you were thinking. It was though you had no humanity whatsoever. You're different now. In the half year we've spent together, I've seen the glow of humanity in your eyes and in your actions countless times. I am truly grateful to have had the chance to spend this time with you, Professor. Getting cozy, are we? Mind if I cut in? That's enough, Sylvain. Oh, please. I would love to join you as well. I have so many things I wish to talk to you about, Professor. Oh, me too! I have so much to tell you! And I want to thank you too. Honestly, Professor, I was only able to achieve so much because you were with us. Ash is right. You're irreplaceable to us, Professor. Yes, that! Without you, the Blue Lions... Well, we wouldn't even be the Blue Lions at all. Except for the blue part. Because we'd be sad. I suppose there are worse things than fighting at your side. I have had the opportunity to experience much. Please allow me to offer you my gratitude once more, Professor. <laughs> as you can see, you have our trust as well as our admiration. I look forward to spending the rest of the year with you. Good. Then let's give it our all this year. Anyhow, it's getting late. We had better return to our quarters and get some rest. I can only call your deeds during the Battle of the Eagle and Lion quite versatile. Comparing against their performance at the mock Battle of the Great Tree Moon, the students have grown significantly. It is clear that this is a result of your guidance. In appreciation of your efforts and to show our high hopes for the future of your students, I award you with this. Please continue to instruct your students as a model teacher. So? You've made good use of all my power after all. I would have been upset if you had failed at such an easy task. It pains me to assign such a disturbing mission to you during such a blessed moment in time. However, next month your assignment will be to journey to Remire Village to investigate an abnormal occurrence there. Remire Village? If I recall, you've been there with your father many times. I have yet to ascertain the details, but it would seem the villagers have been acting strangely. I have already dispatched the knights to verify the authenticity of this information. They should be back shortly. I suggest you begin by finding out what they have discovered. I pray this is not a bad omen. May the goddess protect you all. So that's us at the end of the chat chapter. Uh, in the next chapter, we've got the battle I've been most dreading for the whole of the first part of the, like of all of the first chapter. This is going to be the mission that I think is going to be the most challenging. Um, 
And of course, by saying that, I've just cursed myself to challenge emissions for the rest of the playthrough. Anyway, let's see how that goes in the next one. That's it for this video.